US President Donald Trump has announced plans to ramp up weapons sales to India this year, including F-35 stealth fighter jets. We're also paving the way to ultimately provide India with the F-35 stealth fighters. While Indonesia was widely speculated to be the second customer of Brahmo's missile after Philippines, but recent media reports suggest that the deal is in final stage with a different nation. Dynaton Systems has unveiled India's first submale class UAV named Chiel, that has a range of 300 km and endurance of 8 hours. Hindustan Aeronautics will not hold any rollout ceremony for the Tejas Mark II, and will not invite the media or any VVIPs to the event. Adani Defence has said, that the 10 km range UAV launched missile extended range will start trials from mid-2025. Tato Advanced Systems in collaboration with the RDO has showcased its latest passive exoskeleton at the Aero India. Philippines will sign a $200 million deal for Akash missiles with India, that would be the first major export order this fiscal year. Indian Navy's INS Calvary will undergo a scheduled normal refit this year, but it is unlikely to get an air-independent propulsion system, as the DRDO AIP system is still not functionally ready. Anderal Industries and Mohindra Group have signed an agreement to co-develop and co-produce advanced artificial intelligence-enabled counter-unmanned aerial system and state-of-the-art maritime systems. Bharat Dynamics has entered into licensing agreement for transfer of technology with the RDO, for manufacture of extended-range anti-submarine rocket for RVU-6000. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a long-term contract with Safran Aircraft Engines, for the supply of turbine forged parts for their leap engines during Aero India 2025. Following a meeting with Indian Prime Minister Modi, United States President Donald Trump has announced plans to dramatically ramp up weapons sales to India this year, including F-35 stealth fighter jets. After the announcement, Lockheed Martin has announced, that Lockheed Martin is encouraged by the recent announcement by President Trump to provide the F-35 to India, and Lockheed looks forward to working closely with both governments on upcoming strategic procurements, including fighter jets Javelin ETGMs and helicopters. Experts have said, that India should acquire around 40 F-35A, only if it receives full access to the mission computer source code and ACE radar system, similar to what Israel has negotiated for its F-35 variant, that would allow India to integrate indigenous weaponry and communication systems. Russia's Rostock Corporation has officially offered licensed production of the Su-57 to India, that would come with the complete transfer of technology, that would enable India to not only assemble the aircraft locally, but also enhance its indigenous capabilities. Rostock also said, that Russia is ready to assist India in a MCA program, and that HAL's existing facility in Nashik could be rapidly converted for the production of the Su-57, as many of the tools and machinery used for the Su-30 program are directly compatible with the Su-57, streamlining the transition to Su-57 production at a significantly reduced cost. After reports that the TED BF will be ready for induction by 2038, the Indian Navy has said, that it has a vision for operating a fifth-generation deck-based fighter under Vision 2047, and this announcement casts uncertainty over the TED BF program. The Indian Navy had shown interest in the F-35B and F-35C in the past, for which it even got an official briefing from Lockheed Martin. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.